At this point, pretty much the only people in Geno City not to know that young and restless Phyllis is alive are those working directly for the police department. From Crimson Lights to the Abbott Mansion, the fact that the redhead is about as dead as formerly deceased locals Victor, Diane, and Adam is all anyone can talk about. And yet Diane remains shackled by her ankle monitor as she awaits trial for a crime she very clearly did not commit. Why? Because she, Jack, and Kyle apparently learned everything they know about solving crimes from the kids on Scooby-Doo. The father-slash-son duo apparently thought it was a brilliant idea to gain access to a crime scene so they could poke around looking for evidence with absolutely no thought to little things like chain of evidence or the kinds of logical questions that any law and order viewer would know to ask. For example, Alison Lanier, Summer, raised a very valid point when she asked her Twitter followers, where do you think Kyle got one of Summer's hairs from? Her brush? Or just plucked it right out of her head when she was sleeping? Hysterically, Tweeter Friday in Canada suggested Kyle definitely uses her styling tools when she's not looking. That hair ain't gonna coif itself. And yes, Kyle mentioned using Summer's brush for the DNA test, but as many fans have pointed out, he and Jack looked foolish for assuming that the evidence they'd gathered would be unquestionably accepted by the police. Diane began strutting about the mansion, gloating to Ashley and Tucker that she'd soon be a free woman in a way that suggested she'd never before heard what happens to those who put the cart before the horse. Perhaps most laughable of all was Jack's response to Chance's questioning whether the hotel room had been cleaned since Stark had checked out. Not well, scoffed Jack dismissively. One could almost hear prosecuting attorney Christine laughing from the other side of town. Had Jack and Kyle thought to fill Chance in on their little foray into crime-solving, maybe things would have gone at least slightly different. But as it was, they, along with Diane, came off as both clueless and entitled. Somehow, they were shocked, positively shocked, when Chance dismissed their evidence. As viewers, however, we knew exactly how this was going to play out. The only thing that could have made it better— Ashley and Tucker being on hand to offer the kind of wry commentary and over-the-top eye-rolling that the audience was engaging in, 